Bring now to our other top story of the day. It is official. The National Hurricane Center has now said that at one point, Hurricane Ian did reach that Category 5 status. Now, this happened hours before it definitely lost a little bit of that power, landing at, at a Category 4 storm here in southwest Florida. But still, Chris, what we know for the first time, Hurricane Ian officially. Category 5. Hurricane Hunter's data is showing Ian hit a peak strength of 161 miles per hour. This was just seven hours before it made landfall at 150. Kyokoska is a very strong Category 4. Fox 4 certified meteorologist Katie Walls now joining us to break down this report, which was 72 pages, extremely detailed. Exactly right. And I've been going through all of that. Of course, the costliest and the deadliest aspect of Hurricane Ian, the storm surge. So if you weren't affected by the 140 to 150 miles, per hour wind gusts, it could have been the water. Of course, the water caused extensive damage, some of the highest surge we've ever seen here, reaching two stories, 10 to 15 feet of surge from Sanibel along Estero, obviously, including Fort Myers Beach, all the way down to Pelican Bay, right here to the north of North Naples. Then from North Naples, Naples, Marco Island, six to nine feet of storm surge extended all the way to Everglades City. We also know that six to nine feet of surge soared streamed inland by more than 20 miles up the Caloosahatchee River and also inundated multiple homes along local canals. So very quickly, I want to show you this latest information from the National Hurricane Center. In Lee County alone, more than 52,000 structures were impacted. 5,300 of those were destroyed. On Fort Myers Beach, look at that, 900 homes destroyed just on Fort Myers Beach alone. And in Lee County, we had 72 fatalities. Half of those were officially from storm surge. In Collier and Charlotte County, we also had extensive damage. Charlotte, we had 200 homes destroyed. And the highest rainfall total was also in Charlotte County. Meanwhile, Collier County, we had 3,500 homes and businesses that sustained major damage. Back to you.